I think it's mainly just to deal with the Enchantress. Uh, I think teams end up picking up the Doom. Actually, I won't even say teams because this is the first time we've seen it, but my theory is that for every Enchantress creep that runs into lane, there's a Devour ready for it. One way to deal Dire with uh, Enchantress kind of destroying your lane with creeps. Yeah, it's great. And I mean, I guess that the, the way that we had seen it a couple of times in the CIS qualifiers was run together with a Lich. You'd get like some ice armor on that fella. And he'd just start running around and making things happen. Um, but he just gets so much freaking gold with those early talents. And someone was picking up a Midas as well. Uh, you did say that you felt like, I, I think that this was you that said that you didn't feel like he provided that much in the super late game. Like once people start getting Lincolns up and stuff, because like he has a Doom and then afterwards, what does he do? He just kind of like runs at people. And if they have like a, a range core or something, he just gets destroyed. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, not, not at all. I think, I think Doom is very effective in the late game. If anything, I actually think it's kind of like his early-ish to mid-game that feels a little lackluster, okay. simply because of how how uh, vulnerable he is. Five Pretty much anything. I mean, he's not a very tanky hero, considering he has, like, zero armor. A lot of the items that you end up picking up aren't exactly going to help you in that regard either. And you manage to pick up items like Shiva's, for example, or a AC, whatever, whatever utility you decide to pick up. Yeah. That's something to keep in mind is if that's... I mean, that's the timing when Team Secret might be kind of strong with this uh, Bane and Chantress combination. You know, it's interesting. I feel like this is something that was like... I don't remember how long ago it was, but it was maybe three, four patches ago when Enchantress and Bane were getting picked up a lot. It was like right when Dragonlance came out and everybody was all hyped about that. It was more than three or four patches ago. Um, but the problem that I always felt like they ran into was like not having enough team fight presence. We've seen that Bane can be super good. Sineko had an amazing one the other day um, against uh, Spartak, but... I kind of wonder if with Doom now and then also Venno, like if Enchantress is going to end up being a liability. There's a ton of magical damage, uh, you know, being able to doom her and just like take her out of the fight as well as take her creeps away so she doesn't have as much snowball potential. Is that something you'd be worried at all at this point? Uh, not really. I, I don't think it's like that bad of a counter. You have to remember Enchantress does a lot more than just, you know, bringing creeps into the lane. And uh... the other thing too is. It's a little too early to call her out as a Doom target. You know, Doom Dyer is team. limited to only one Doom unless yes. you have a Refresher. Yes. So there might be other potential targets that you kind of have to focus on. Seeing as, like, not a single core has been picked up. So hmm. assuming that's the case, you know, you're still going to get your damage out by throwing out a bunch of emphasis. That's fair. That's something else. I mean, I guess that could be the one of the things, though, is, like, if you're Dooming... I mean, if she is like one going to be one of the main damage dealers, which we don't know necessarily, but considering it's Fata playing it, that would be the main reason you would want to take her, right? Is to build up that that damage from the right click with impetus. If you if you doom her, it takes that ability away. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm with you though. It's it's going to be an interesting one. But also seeing Yapsor here, going to be playing the Tusk. I love me some Tusk. I I see the combo. All right, what's the combo? I've got it. So you know how Impetus does more damage when there's more range, right? Uh -huh. you just You Hurricane Pike people, and you start throwing Impetus while the Tusk is there, like right next to someone, and they basically throw out a bunch of Impetus, and then you kick them. <laughs> and the Agnum Scepter. <laughs> so that you get a Hurricane Pike on top of a, a Walrus Kick, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure everyone dies to that. That sounds amazing. I love that idea. That also sounds terrible, and I hate that idea. So it's kind of, a, <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling some cognitive, di do, cognitive dissonance right now. But uh, it's going to be a Witch Doctor pick as well. I guess that this is just a, a strong laning hero since either Doom is, I mean, where do you think this Doom is going to end up? He's, uh, is it offlane? I think it might be a support. Uh, it's very possible that they can just run it as a, a four position Doom starting in the jungle and then supporting the offlane. Yeah. Okay. Necro. I, I actually completely forgot about this hero. This hero wasn't even touched in the first phase. Have you not played Dota recently? How do you forget about this guy? My goodness. I feel like every single game he's there. I don't I don't forget about him. I just assume he's banned out already by the time you reach oh, okay. the stage. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that he he definitely causes some issues. Um does it seem like a mid one hero? I feel like it's more ace -ish. I think it's an ace hero. Yeah. 
I, I'm pretty certain, even with the roster change uh, for Team Secret, mid one is still the mid one. Five seconds yeah. remaining. No, I'm with you. That's uh, that definitely feels like it's it's more his cup of tea. Um, SFT are going to run an invoker for themselves. Not a hero that we've seen all that often recently. And we have occasionally seen teams, even with an offlane enchantress or other offlane heroes, like make rotations mid and find kills uh, with a couple of creeps at like the four minute mark or something. I mean, how worried do you have to be about this invoker in the mid lane? I feel like there's so much roaming potential on him. Uh... It, it kind of depends on what they end up picking mid one. Uh, if he's really d picking, playing a really durable hero, I don't think it would be. I would be too worried, especially since he also has two very gank oriented and also somewhat defensive supports. So I don't think I'd be too worried for mid one. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see how this ends up going. As the last ban right now from SFT, they do not have last pick. And it was an interestingly enough a gyrocopter ban. I wonder if that was catching them off guard. You think that they wanted to run gyro? Um, I don't think you really expect anyone to run gyro. Uh, there's probably a hero that he thinks is good, and he doesn't. They they maybe they don't really know what they end up playing anyway, so they just ban what they think is best. And I think you know, looking at Diet looking at their lineup, they're expecting awfully enchantress gyro one of the better carries against Enchantress. You know, you, you don't exactly expect to right-click her to death, but you can just rocket barrage her. It's always good against the Tusk as well, right? You expect that sometimes people snowball in with multiple heroes and all of a sudden there's a call Five down ready for use. Remaining. That could potentially ruin your, your snowball gank. So I think it's just something they think is a good man. Looks like they ran at one time uh, when they were playing against Lana. That was 29 days ago, though, so it's been a little while, but maybe they see that in the repertoire, and like you are saying, uh, just wanting to make sure that doesn't end up happening. TA also going to be the band now as they look for what I'm assuming is going to be their offlaner if our theory about Doom support holds true. Um, unless it's going to be Venno offlane, and then we end up having a different core. How does Venno scale up against Enchantress? Oh, it's going to be a CK. All right. I, I was just thinking of uh, of a Diffusal Blade Carrier. It's what they really need. You can, you can technically, you can get on the Venomancer, but I think Venomancer just does better with uh, different items. You, know, you always want to get Ten the Veil into remaining. Hurricane Pike, for example, or Maelstrom. Five if you're going the right-click build. If you're not going the right-click build, then you can always get the Veil into Agnum Scepter, for example. So... Having someone else pick up Diffuse will be better for them. And is this going to... I mean, you don't really want to buy a Diffusal Blade on CK, though, right? Or do you? Diffusal Blade on CK? Oh, Diffusal Blade on CK is legit. Okay. I, I haven't because, seen this. I mean, it's, it's an illusion-based oh, yeah, hero, this. right? Of course I have. So, illusion-based hero always going to do well with the... Oh, it's going to... Oh, it's the Ace Broodmother! Oh, oh Snapples! I feel like... So, So it looks like mid one is going to be playing the Necrophos instead. That Ace Mother. This is a pretty good Brood game. Not exactly the best way to, or the best of answers for the Brood Mother. I think if Doom was able to get a decent enough of, or a decent amount of levels, you can sort of deal with it. But I don't think there's enough cooldowns to uh, kill off spiders. You know, I, I kind of sound like excited about it because I, I like Ace Brood from days when he used to play it. Um, but I'm also like, it's a Brood Mother, so that makes me a little bit sad that this hero is becoming more and more popular. I feel like it's actually one of the most played heroes that we saw in the. I mean, apart from, you know, outside of the very obvious few heroes that are played all the time, I think Brood def definitely did make uh, quite a comeback showing up in a lot of games, like you said. Okay, so five games is all that it's been played, but I think that those all were in the CIS fires, uh, which is kind of nuts, but... So we go, game number one. It's the first look that we have, I believe, of Team Secret in this new round of games, and 
Early movement out. Yapsor going to try and place down a ward here. Doesn't look like... Uh, SFT are going to be able to have an idea that this is going on while well, simultaneously the Witch Doctor gets his down. Oh, and there's no more chat wheel. Oh, Steven, it's really sad. Wait, it's been removed? It's been removed. It's gone. All right, tell me when it's back. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother playing this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's really sad. I, I, I feel like we're going to all be missing something together. Like, the only sounds we're going to have now is from, like, a Venomancer banana taunt as he drops it down, which is good, but not great. But early movement out, secret, looking like they want to try and find a kill on the Illidan up here. Seconds to battle. Waiting for the right time to strike. Be about 20, 15 seconds. So they're switching it up so it's Fada versus the Veno in the bottom lane. Um, how do you feel about Inch versus the Venomancer? Actually, they're going to have an uh, idea that this is happening now is if she shows herself. I think it's still fine for the Enchantress. I don't think there's ever a point where Venomancer is going to be able to right-click you down to begin with. The battle All right. begins. Illidan, he's going to be scouted right now. Do they end up being able to find him? No. So you think it's okay for the, the Enchantress, you said? Because uh, if, as long as you have levels of Untouchable and even one level of Nature's Attendant, I don't, I don't really think a Venomancer, no matter how you skill the Venomancer, will be able to. He's also going to walk into lane with you. You're going to have to be dealing with that as well. All right. Well, mid lane, Brood versus Invoker. Not the easiest in the world. Invoker's going to start out at the level in Quas. We'll see if he decides to go for a Quas Wex build. It might actually be the preferable route this time to deal with Spiders. Do you think it is? Or, I don't know, does that even deal with Spiders? Spiders? Uh, not really. Because the, if you go Quaswex, the only thing that does damage is the Cyclone. Or the Tornado. And I don't think Tornado does enough damage to yeah. off the uh, Spiders. Okay. Early point in Gale here. Nikwa going to be manned up against Fata. Unfortunately, Fata is a mighty mighty sprinker. And that was a good bit of right clicks just used right there. Venno might end up actually dying in this lane if he's not careful. Yeah, definitely. Because once you have Untouchable, you, you really can't trade, right? And Gale is level 1, it does pretty much no damage, so... Fata's not really going to care. Meanwhile, in the jungle, CST coming in. He got a Seder, which will be quite helpful in this lane. Giving that nice little unholy aura to his team and himself, as well as having the Shockwave to throw out every now and then. Although it does cost a lot of mana, he might not be able to spam that out, actually. Can use it twice, and it's not like he has the use for anything else, or he doesn't need it for anything else. He's gonna eat the Ursa though, so have the Thunderclap. Sorry, Hellbear, Hellbear Smasher. Not yeah. Oh, oh Yapsor blocking off Illidan on the wrong side of that shards, but they do have a coconut bouncing around a little bit. Nightmare is there as well, mid one, trying to find the damage. They get the clap. But that is going to be the end of it, it looks like. Unless they're able to get another shards here three seconds away, that might have been enough for the kill. But so far, this lane, just a bit of a uh, favor for the Necro. But the big problem is this Brood, who is 12 and 9 versus 3 and 1. Yeah, I I don't think this is a good matchup for uh, for Invoker. <laughs> Pretty sure Team Speaker knew exactly what they wanted to lane against him the moment they saw that Invoker pick. Uh, I think Nikwa might be dead if Fata wants to push it. He's not going to, though. Just playing it safe and just going to force Nikwa to go back for a salve. This is looking like it could be a pretty bad stomp. Nobody has more than three CS at almost three minutes for SFT. This is this is quite bad. Oh, it's way way too early to to make, make calls. No, like man, that. this is this is over. <laughs> <laughs> way too early to make calls like that. You can lose the laning phase, but you can definitely come back off of good team fighting. Not gonna be easy team fighting. Yo, Ace has more awesome. CS than the entire Dire team. I we uh, this is really bad. Steven, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. It's really bad. But let's not say it's impossible. Anything is possible. Nikwa is in some trouble. Uh, he's getting ran down by the Hellbear Smasher. They did get a Gale off, so he's not gonna be able to kill him, but. I mean, look, Steven, it's a 2,000 net worth lead at three minutes. 
I understand. <laughs> I, there's no there's no need to say anyone's in trouble because their entire team's in trouble. Uh, oh, that I, was a nice ward block. Do you see that? Uh, no, I didn't. I was too busy looking at Invoker getting bodied. Everyone's uh, getting bodied. Yeah. I mean, this is the scary thing about this is that it's not even like the worst it's going to get yet. Like, first blood drawn by mid one. This is. I, I'm lacking the number of words you, that I late. need. I think he's gonna get away though. No sentry ward. Oh, I, I, I actually. Mean, that, that hurts anyways, because Ghost Walk is not cheap. It's 200 mana, so that's 200 mana gone from your invoker sitting in the mid lane. They have to do something here to propel themselves forward because, like you said, it, just all three lanes going it, down. Broodmother it, having more CS still than the entire team combined. This game is over. I, I really don't think that there's a... I, uh, I don't know. Steven, I know that you're trying to say that it's not necessarily completely done, but look at the net worth lead and just how badly this is all going. Like, what? where's even the rotations that they can make? I don't... Uh, they, well, that's the thing. It, this is the price you pay when you play a greedy hero such as a Doom in the jungle. Yeah. They're both trying to jungle the same camps. Uh, STST is. Brood is level going six. Tornado. Brood is level six. And nobody is uh, up at four yet. Um, let's see. There's a nightmare on the Bane. He's level two against the level four mid one. They have a brain sap. He is. Probably going to die here. This is Raptor gank bottom as well. This is Nikwa goes down top lane. Pexu goes down. Mid one is just showing no regard for human life as SFT he are being pulled to. apart. This is he's got eleven stick charges. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Illidan is dead. I think mid one is he's thinking out. about he's chasing him. Look think at the this. Best part about this is he's he can do whatever he wants. Look at him. What are you gonna do? Stun me? Uh, Nice well, Maledict, they still have the 16 wand charges, going to pop it soon? All right, there. No, no, he's, he's saving skill point. This oh is, my is god. Hate Necro. I, oh. Oh, man. All right, um, right, I'm going to take another look at the CS. It is now, like we were talking about before, the Broodmother and the Necrophos having more CS than the entire Dire team. I'm, I'm pretty sure minutes. you're right, though. This is, this is probably a record at this point. I don't think I've ever seen a 5k lead in 6 minutes. They're almost giving themselves a 1,000 gold lead every minute right off the bat. Like, I, the tier 1 tower is gone. There's literally nothing stopping them from just moving around. I think movement speed is going to be Team Secret's biggest obstacle this game. <laughs> that's, that's all. All it's going to take, really, is how quickly can they move from lane to lane to kill them all. Oh, oh, Nikwa in a lot of trouble. They see him. Oh, all right. Puppy kills off Pescu. They're diving here. He's just going to TP out. No, okay. Maybe a kill on the board. Puppy has dove too deep, and he's going to end up paying for it. All right. That's something. Uh, snowball now. Nikwa's going to be able to get away. Puppy dies, but the, the lead continues to grow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of abilities that can actually set up kills. Like, I think they really need Doom to get six as soon as possible. And as well as, uh, I think Venom Master. Oh, Doom is dead. Oh, Doom. I, well, he's not going to hit six at that rate. I really don't think that there's anything really like cask. I mean, Witch Doctor's level two, so it has three bounce, two bounces, three hits. Um, Invoker's going for the Quas Wax build, so we like if they go five mana lane, maybe they can find a kill. But then they're also five man in a lane, and Invoker is now blocked off from everybody else. And I think that he is well, now spider's dead. Coming. Spiders going there. Spiders. They are going to get the. Tornado off, get some gold for himself. All right, okay, that helped to see us a lot, but it's still just so bad. So, so I, I think uh, let's all right. Oh, top lane, mid one. He's he doesn't he doesn't care. Yeah, he's gonna like, be able to live, do this. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Stick no, no, charges dead, dead. to follow. I think he's dead. Uh, maybe he could turn this back around in a second, trying to deal the damage. They are gonna kill him off. All right, 
A big kill right there. SFT getting on the board again. It's... Oh, Nikwa, bottom lane. Oh, God. Go down to the uh, ace broodmother. He just medallion someone and runs at him with spiders. What do you even do? You, you... I don't think he had Gale. Oh, yeah, he already used the Gale, too. I think he missed the Gale. And he's going for Radiance. He might... If he gets this rate, <laughs> I don't know when he's going to get this Radiance. I'm just bamboozled by the, this game. I, I have to say, I feel like it is a lot on the draft. Almost, in, not entirely on the draft, but a lot on the draft. Would you agree? Oh, definitely. They, I think uh, Team Secret were not really expecting this Doom to be support. And then the moment they saw the uh, last pick, or actually, no, I think uh, once the last pick or the fourth pick came through and they saw the invoker, I think at that point, very confident in their lane setup. Yeah. Knowing that there's really nothing you can do with the heroes side. I'm trying to come up with analogies for this and it's it, it it's hard to like keep up with like all of the things that are kind of going wrong here. Um, and also simultaneously going very right for secret. It feels like they're kind of making a couple of slip ups here and there. Um, all right. No boots for CK. Uh, he is level 6, though, and pops his ulti. They're going to be able to find it. Um, trying to jump forward. The illusions are gone, and, well, they do have a Reaper Scythe when he comes out of this, if they want to use it. Mid one, running out of mana, actually. He yeah, isn't able to find it yet, but Illidan trying to reality rift to the low ground. It doesn't end up working, and now he's going to get caught and killed. Now mid one has the regen that he needs, and oh, they catch was... Thompson right on the edge, but no detection. Uh, on the downside, though, it's also going to be the Doom dying to Fata right in front of they're, the Tier 3 just, Tower mid. They're just sitting in mid. Okay. Um, jeez. 10,000 net worth lead at 10 minutes. And Brood Radiance is almost completed a relic at 10 minutes. They, they actually is... did it. Yeah. 1,000 gold a minute from zero. <laughs> I, I actually think this is a record. It's certainly something. That's for damn sure. Cold Lane. snap on a mid one. They're EMP, a sense of killing. Pexy, all right, everybody jump mid one. Just, he, has he has a veil. He has a veil. They him got him a doomed as well. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's enough. You can't be oh, yeah, okay, so reality. coming in. They're going to have the snowball save here in a second if they want to use it. And there it comes out. Oh, Tornado nice not going to catch. And it buys him enough time. He's going to live. Oh, he's a liver. And trying to no, run down mid one. Yet. He's almost going to go down. They do find that kill. 500 gold going their direction. They missed the shards as well. So they find a kill. It's still a 1,000 net worth lead a minute in spite of that. Just because of everything else that's happening around the map. Um, a thousand gold change and not, not even really mattering. Uh, what ha- Steven, help me. <laughs> I need help. How, how can I help you? This, this game is commentating itself. Yeah. It really is. Oh, he's almost got the, the Radiance. He's actually uh, 50 gold away. Let's let's try to find something that's that's going good for SFT. Um, Venomancer's level six and oh, uh, uh. all right. They need to kill the Broodmother. The Broodmother is worth so much money to them right now. If they can kill Broodmother, <laughs> all right. Yeah, oh, is body here. blocking. Look, they have the idea. They've got mid one in the area. There's the Reaper Scythe. He's mid gone. Pexu, can they kill off the brute? It's not going to happen. Up here top, they kill off the Witch Doctor too. There was a missed scale in there. There were some other things. It's. I, I think that it's really hard to see just like how uh, it's hard to play from this point in time in the game. So everything that looks so bad for SFT, uh, some of that also has to do with the fact that they're just playing from behind. Um, let's see. 15,000 net worth lead now at 13 minutes. They're eclipsing the 1,000 net worth lead a minute. And it it is a brood mother with the. Did she get the radiance yet? Yeah, finished yeah. The radiance. I don't even think behind begins to uh, <sighs> capture 
how behind they are. <laughs> There's a smoke play. They break it immediately. Trying oh, to run, trying oh, to catch. It. This is it. Four versus five. Can they do it? Oh, Bane in trouble. They have the Bane nightmare. It's coming out as well. Ace is actually going to start to go down. He's going to die. Everybody is starting to make the plays that they need to make. And Chandris is doing. Can they kill they her got off the Bane as well? It might end up happening. Oh, turn around, snowball in. They're trying to kill off this enchantress. She's so tanky. The snowball save is going to be able to get her stick charges off and maybe walk away from this one. No, Fata's going to go down as well. Triple kill for Illidan. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of gold. Maybe possibly a way forward. 4,200 <laughs> 4, gold net swing in 14 minutes. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure that's another record set. <sighs> That's great. I really feel like this is, uh... See, what did I tell you? You can never rule them out. No matter how bad the laning phase goes, you can still win team fights. But uh, people get a little too cocky, or they misposition themselves. All right. You can't, you can't forget about the Doom, you know? Doom just completely takes a hero out of the game. Yeah. That's true. He does. He takes one hero completely out of the game. And that was a big old swing into their favor. It's no longer, uh, like, look, I mean, look, there's a little bit of a drop there. That was, that was a big moment right there for the Dyer. I really don't think that something like that is super easily replicated. Um, unless Team Secret just, like, completely fall apart. No, it's, I, I definitely uh, agree with you there. It's... It's one of those things where, you know, as a as a team, you know, you always tell yourself, okay, guys, the game's not over. Try to stay serious. But when you're winning by this much, sometimes, oh, wait, Hobson, you might get caught here. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely is going to get caught. The ghost walks a little bit off the mark there since he ended up getting. Uh, oh, they might find Yapsor. There's some decent damage, but he has the wand charges. He's going to get healed. Yeah, so he ended up ghost walking and then tornado. So he broke his ghost walk as he was running away. I mean, he had no choice. Yeah. He was getting dusted, so yeah. had to do something. But like you, like you said, not gonna be an easy uh, turnaround they had earlier. I think uh, after that one mistake, Secret are just gonna tighten up their game now. I mean, we gotta keep it real here. You know, I I, I like to I never like to call a game early, but I also don't like to deceive viewers. And this game was over about like right here. I want to say it like the the four or five minute mark when you know two separate heroes had more CS than the entire enemy team. Like it, pretty brutal. That, I mean that 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 kind of situation can still become you can still come back from it, but the game really starts to look over when you have people just doing whatever they want and they're still succeeding. That that's when the game really looks like it's uh you can't really recover from it. You know, I want to say that that net worth swing that happened uh, for the kill there was like 50% of the gold that SFT has earned this game. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty close. No. Well, Fata in the meantime, he's been able to pick up the, the full Hurricane Pike. I'll take a look at some of these other items. After the Radiance, we have the Aegis done for the Broodmother. Uh, Necro, Veil, um, Brown Boots. Oh. They're making moves. I like this. Okay. Smoking down bo bottom lane. But Fata, he kind of realizes something is wrong here. Run all the way back, and this is going to be a wasted smoke. Oh, wait. Ace, he's going to be farming up their jungle. I think they're going to see this. If they yeah, Vision. Go for this. They don't quite see him. They're, the spiders are heading off this direction, and now they are going to catch a quick sight of him over here by this ward. The movement is heading that direction. Smoke is going to wear off a little prematurely, though. Maybe they can spot him from the low ground. They just see the spiders right now. They don't see the brood mother. That might actually just be worth ganking right now. It's killing off these spiders. But Ace is doing a good job. He is going to head away. What did I think? Oh, Cyclone. Finds himself five spiders. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, that's not bad. Okay. Well, 18 minutes in, it's still a 14,000 net worth lead and right around 13,000 experience. Um, where do you see this next couple minutes going? Like, do they want to just farm up to that next item and wait for it? Like, you have eight, eight toasts on mid one, or do they want to try and, like, 
push for high ground. Hmm. I mean, they're up 14,000 gold, but not having the, uh, the levels really you really want to have for high ground siege as well as some of the team fight items, I think. There's no pipe on Tusk either. Ooh, this could be good. They're heading out, they're running by where mid one is, and they have Doom available, as well as ulti from Illidan. He's gonna spot them briefly, and there's the Doom laid down right at the start. This is about as good as it could have gone, and it looks like they will be able to bring him down. It's actually uh, the Witch Doctor that ends up picking up that kill. Grim maybe getting a little too greedy with their efficiency. I think they're trying their best to just continuously build on their lead, but... Uh, SFT aren't actually, you know, playing as afraid as Secret might have hoped they would. Yeah. Walking out of their base, actually trying to make things happen, so Secret have to kind of respect that. Yeah. Play a little less greedy. Don't get picked off like that. Alright. Well, Venomitis. Ways to come back. They still do have, you know, this Quas Wex Invoker. They've got themselves Veno Wards to keep holding high ground. But it does feel as if uh, it's going to be quite hard for them outside of the base. I guess that's the, the, the way that they end up playing this, though. You know, you just wait for Doom to come off cooldown and then move out with a Smoke Gank and just do what they did before. You can definitely gank your way back into this if you're successful in doing so over and over again. But... I'm not too sure what Secret might be waiting for. Maybe they're waiting for the pipe. They might actually yeah. be waiting for the pipe. They are just continuously farming, keeping uh, SFT in their base right now, knowing that their lead can only get larger. Oh, but Puppy, Puppy gets caught out. Again, very far out there. Ace, though, he's going to start turning up the damage. The rest of them are there. Hurricane Pike comes out. That's going to be a kill on to Illidan, most likely. Does he get the armor toggle off? He's actually going to be able to walk away from that one, but he is not going to be brought down. All right, never mind. There he is. Yeah, they got the kill. Over here to the north side of the fight, Nikwa's going to end up being ran down by the Broodmother as well. They find that kill. Radiance Burn doing a billion and ten damage, and four are dead. And that looks like the uh, extent that Secret were willing to take was Puppy getting taken down. Doom buyback. A buyback also well on the Venno. Oh, That's another it. dead. Yeah. Glyph comes All out. All you gotta do is kill them. Kill them and they don't have buyback. Should be two lanes of racks. I guess this is what Secret's plan was. Just uh, efficiently farm around the map. Wait for the other team to get impatient to make a mistake. Get yeah. baited out by the uh, Bane. Oh, they do mid one. This is, this is it. They're all in. All right. Well, secret now. They dodge away some of those spells, but there's a nightmare there as well. Connecting now. Doom is going to die. It looks like Fata still staying alive. Illidan trying to burst him down. Necro's back up now. No longer doomed. Do they turn back around? Try and keep her alive? The turn is there, and well, Fiend's Grip ends up getting interrupted as well, but now they have the Atos down onto that Invoker. He's going to end up falling most likely if they can find enough damage. Impetus Shot comes through. Doesn't get the miss up hill, and Nikwa also being ran down by Ace, but they're going to keep their eyes on the prize, focus the barracks, and take the first lane 21 minutes in. Hey, they managed to get back their uh, 1k per minute. Yeah. Thank you. It's called. I mean, I, I would say Secret coming in the heavy favorites. It was that comboed together with a really, really heavy draft advantage. Um, anything else really to say about this game? I think if you're playing against a team like Secret, I mean, Secret, obviously, 